Welcome, all of you, all of you applicants, to this little session about helping angry customers. Now, you're all here because you filled in an application to be part of our call center. And your job, if we appoint you, is to sit in our call center and help angry customers. Now, before I go on any further, when you came into the foyer, you all walked past this brochure. And I just want to see who picked up this brochure that you knew was going to be the subject of the discussion tonight. Who did? Nobody. That makes me really angry. <laughs> so how are you going to make me not angry? How are you going to make me not angry? How are you going to make me think that any of you are worth a job in our company? Because I have to tell you, our company is not doing well. We get a lot of complaints, we get a lot of returns, we get a lot of people through the door saying, you're absolute rubbish. And the call center was set up, not really to help things along, but to provide a buffer between the decent people who make the rubbish that we sell and the customers. And that's your job. So I want you to concentrate hard on how to help angry customers. How do you deal with an angry customer? Has anybody ever dealt with an angry customer before? No, it doesn't surprise me. I must say you lot don't look very promising. But never mind. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if we can encourage you to do something about it. The first thing, the first, I wouldn't ask you the question because what's the point? But the first, the first thing you want to remember about dealing with an angry customer is you want to retain that customer. You want that customer to come back. You want that customer to feel that they've had their say, that they've, they've been listened to, and that there's a solution going to be proposed that will be for their benefit. Yes? I'm, I'm sorry, are you, on, are you on the phone? No. Do you want this job or not? <laughs> that makes me really angry. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> That's part of the thing, you see. <laughs> So, if you were dealing with an angry customer and you hadn't been listening to the man, what, what, would, what would the problem be in trying to deal with them and make them less angry? The problem would be you hadn't listened to them. And that's the whole thing that I want to get over to you today. You've got to listen to people. You've got to, you've got to understand people. As I do, for example, as I've understood all of you sitting there, hoping that you're going to get a job. Well. Let's check back on your understanding. What happens when someone is angry and they, they phone you up? What do they want from you? Do they want a solution? Do they want to buy something? Do they want to say, the company has not done a good service to me, but I don't mind? I don't think so. What they want to do is unload their upset on you. They want to upset you so you feel worse than them. And you mustn't allow that to happen. You've got to be calm. Now there's a big difference between being calm and speaking in a calm way. To some people, if you speak in a calm way, you're just being condescending. You're just saying, I'm disengaged. I don't care. Why would I care? What you've got to do is be calm, but be engaging and listen to them, and play back on their words. Think about things like this. A useful technique would be to play back to them their key words, or the last three words they say, so it says here anyway. And it's a summary of what they're saying, so that you show that you've understood. And if you've understood, then you're in tune with their emotions. And being in tune with their emotions is really important. Because, what do they want to do? What do they want to do? Be angry with you. They want to be angry with you. They want to unload their emotions on you. So what you have to do is absorb all of that and make it clear that you're engaged, but you're not upset yourself, because otherwise you're just in an argument. And you don't want to be in an argument. Why would you want to be in an argument? So, they want to vent their feelings on you. They want to be heard. And a simple technique 
is that you simply make them feel that you acknowledge how they're feeling. And that's the beginning of the solution. You could say things like, it sounds you're really fed up with this situation and I'm sorry to hear that. I understand you're really frustrated. It sounds as though you're really angry with us. I'm sorry. Let's see what we can do. Because helping happy customers the intelligent way means that you apologize for what we've done wrong. Now, that isn't going to do them any good because we're not actually going to put it right. But that's your job. You've got to sit there and placate that customer and leave that customer with the idea that you've apologized for what we've done wrong, that it is sincere. Now, sincerity is a variable concept, let's face it. Sincerity means that you sound sincere. And that's what I want to teach you tonight. You've got to sound sincere. You may be absolutely choked up with the last five people who've just been on the phone to you, but it doesn't matter. You've got to be sincere. What's the key thing? Be part of the solution, not part of the problem. So, be positive. Apologize, but don't be negative. Be positive and start the ball rolling as though you're on a journey together looking for the solution. And what might the solution be? They're angry, perhaps they want their money back. Your job is to make sure that they don't get their money back <laughs> because we can't afford to give people their money back. What you want to do is to ensure that the whole transaction revolves around that person being satisfied with the product that we've delivered to them. Now, it may well be that the product hasn't worked, it doesn't matter. What I want you to do is to encounter that feeling that they're giving to you that there is a solution. And the solution may well be that we offer them perhaps another product, a different product, at another time. You won't have to mention, obviously, that they're going to have to pay for it. Just keep that under the carpet for the moment. So there we are. Be part of the solution. Say what you're going to do to resolve the problem. That's most important. Get to the heart of the matter. Be clear about what you're going to do. And if the techniques in this guide have been any use to you at all, you'll find that at the end of the day, you've created a bridge. Yes, a bridge between you and the person that you're dealing with. And that bridge will have been effective. So, the employee, he may say to you, he may say to you, what's your name? What's your employee number? I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to make a further complaint about you. Don't worry about it. Get over it. Placate them. Let it rest. Be part of the solution. <laughs>